Hi, good morning for this last uh, discussion board. I wanted to share with you some other uh, works by George Marsden that I found helpful to be uh, you know, great help to my uh, research, especially in the fields of fundamentalism and American religious history. George Marston's book, Religion and American Culture, the third edition is really a very helpful book. In that book, he provides a well-written summary of the uh, religion uh, and American culture and the interaction of the two from the, from the beginning of the country up until, uh, uh, you know, America, until present time or about 1925, and then he'll write further uh, in others of his work that we'll talk about. Interestingly, he portrays the dual nature of God in America and its people, uh, both as religious and profane, the duality of our nature, uh, both uh, as people made in the image of God and people that have a propensity of evil. And the book contains, uh, you know, wants to provide background and historiography, which I find very helpful in my work as a writer about American history, because if you deal just with religion and don't deal with the, the duality, you somehow only give one side of the coin, and that's uh, that's very, you know, kind of disconcerting in writing history. Marston's other book, Fundamentalism in American Culture, published in 2016, talks about the shaping of 20th century evangelicalism from 1870 up until 1925, and he does note that 25 is the uh, year of importance because that, of course, is the year of the Scopes trial, which I study and write about. Uh, up until 1870, he makes a point that the uh, religious ideas were both respectable and influential, and those attitudes were quite normal up until 1925. But with the Scopes trial, uh, we step into a new uh, era. And so while the country is moving forward with progress and exploding in both industrial and intellectual knowledge and growing, the fundamentalists just suddenly stopped almost in their tracks and did not progress, did not advance. And as a result, they, they get the uh, moniker of being anti-intellectual, anti-modern, anti-progressive. And in many ways they were, but yet at the same time, they will take things like the technology of radio in the coming decades after scopes and will move forward to uh, you know, build their congregations. And, and of course, today we see the same uh, thing with them using technology of the television to, to build their audiences, to get their message across. And so there, there is this dichotomy there between being modern and anti-modern and being progressive and anti-progress. So I think that's really fascinating. The third of Marston's books I want to talk to you about is called Understanding Fundamentalism and Evangelicalism. And it's a very interesting book, provides a great deal of historiography about the, the derivation of those two terms and how they came about, uh, these two major religious movements, and they analyze the two aspects that are the core of their understanding, and those are the aspects of politics and science. And of course, we that is so up-to-date of uh, in our understanding, because we see those two, two things still being of great influence in American society today, even as recent as our last presidential election. Marsden's a great writer. This text that we've used in this class about the Christian scholarship is, is one of his best books, and I hope that you'll hold on to that, maybe come back to it uh, time and again to understand the political religious environment that we find ourselves in. Thank you so much for the past eight weeks. It's been a joy interacting with you, and I hope maybe to see you again in another class. Thank you so much.